Well, hello there, you lovely people. Welcome back to my computer. My name's Mikey, and this is another tutorial. All right. In this episode, I will be showing you lovely people at home how to separate your drawings or your line art onto its own layer without any of the white in Photoshop. This is incredibly useful if you guys are budding artists, you like to scan in your artwork and start messing around with it. And for those of you not in a know, this will basically change your life forever. It's the best thing I worked out on Photoshop and it kind of changes how I've been drawing ever since. So first things first, let me show you an example of what you might try if you first ever come to it and how horrible it is. Let's get a paintbrush with a nice skin tone. Let's make the opacity 100%. Imagine you've got a picture, you've scanned it in, and you want to start colouring it in. Well, if I start giving this a little squiggle, oh no! I can't paint skin tones, I've covered up all the boobs and the lines. What am I going to do about it? I can't do anything about this. Control Z, go away. I want to be able to paint on this picture whilst keeping all the black. So, there's two main ways to go about it. Firstly, I could click on layer and go over new and then go to layer again or shift control n according to photoshop's hotkeys give that a click and i've got the new layer dialog box now this is what i used to do before i'd learned the other technique i used to get a new layer and where it's got mode down here instead of a normal layer i'd click on multiply and then okay so if you look down in the layer box on the right here we've got our original picture and then we've got this transparent layer on top of it. So imagine this is your um, drawing that you've done on your desk at home. And now we've put a clear sheet of acetate on top. Now when I start to do my um, colouring in, oh, look at this. The black still bleeds through. In fact, anything we had on this bottom layer would still push through into the first layer even when we do our colouring in. So this is the most basic and easy way to start colouring your artwork in Photoshop um, by basically doing it on a new layer on Multiply. That is good stuff. But if we Control Z, Control Z and Control Z our way back to a white sheet of paper, there is another technique to use. So firstly, I'm clicking on this layer I've just made and I'm deleting it just so we're right back where we started. If you want to get your line work really crisp and sitting on its own layer, the first thing you need to do is go to Image, go to Adjustments, and either click on Brightness and Contrast so that you can basically uh, mess around with these sliders till your whites are absolutely white and your line work, your blacks or your ink, is absolutely black like this. Um, or the other method in the exact same place is Image, Adjustments, Levels, and a very similar thing, but you can use this kind of slider graph. The um, absolute left hand tells me where my chroma of pure black is going to be. And this kind of graph gives me an indication of where blacks tend to peek out or become um, other sort of image information. So if I drag this black slider up to this kind of peak of blacks, you can see that I've made all my line work really, really dark on the picture. I'm going to bring that back just a little bit to about there. And then this middle slider tells me about my mid-tone, so I'm just going to drag that up just a touch and click on OK. Now I've got super white white and super black blacks. Fantastico! But how do we put that on its own layer? So simple, my friends. Firstly, what we're going to do is down over here, where we've got our layers, I'm actually going to click on this new tab right here, Channels. Give channels a click, and where we've got this top channel, RGB, which is a combination of red, green, and blue, um, basically what it's saying is white. When you've got um, the beams of light in this free in an equal amount, apparently it makes pure white light, or according to the color palette theory. So we're going to highlight the picture on this layer, so we're not messing around with the blue zone or this eye, right over the picture, and then I'm going to hold down control and then click with the left mouse button once. That on this image has highlighted everything which is white, which is quite cool, but not perfect. because We want everything that's black, the line work. So I'm going to go up to select. I'm going to click on inverse. Now we're highlighting just the blacks, which is absolutely amazing. Although that sounds a bit racist as a sentence. We're going to go to layer. We're going to go to new, new layer. And this time we're going to leave it on normal, just a normal uh, kind of fresh sheet of paper to work on. Let's click on OK. Then we're going to go back to our Layers tab down here so we can see the new layers we're working with. We're going to click on our first layer again, the one where we started out, and we're going to press on Control-C to copy all of our highlighted black lines. 
We're going to click back onto layer two, our fresh sheet, and we're going to press control V to paste all our lines. So if we delete or at least turn off the eye on this original piece of art that we'd scanned in like so, you will see now that I have only the line work. Wow. Appearing with none of the white. So if I just want to kind of start moving this majigger around here, you can see that it's purely the black lines that we've got. This is great. It means that you can start painting above the lines, painting below, manipulating just the line work without affecting anything else. It is really good stuff. Oh, I've moved this one around in the background. Oh, how weird is that? In fact, yes, we can make loads of clone clouds for some weird compilation image, but we won't. Let's get this one back here. And really quickly, another cool thing to show you, and I will show you by making a new layer. Again, a normal one. And basically this layer, I'm just going to paint bucket fill with white paint simply because I just want a fresh white sheet of paper. Da -da and I'm going to make sure this sheet of paper is underneath the line work so that the line work here is sitting on top of the paper here. Just going to give that a little nudge around so it lines back up. Ba -boom. And I'll show you another quick thing. Because it's just the lines we've now got selected. Um, if I go to image and adjustment I can go down to color balance this time and if you want your black lines to be maybe a bit more aquamarine boom there we go just play around with the colors maybe I want them to be as kind of dark angry cloud strife red with the lines oh lovely let's drop that one down as well you can do so many different things now that you've separated your line art to its own new layer so i encourage you guys to scan in your artwork at home have a play around with it and see what you can do get in the comments below let me know how you're getting on but that is basically one of the first main steps to doing really good digital artwork or at least digital coloring of your work learn how to um separate out your lines into their own zone if you guys want to know how to get your artwork onto the computer in the first place, I've just done a tutorial, really, really simple one about kind of scanning or photographing that in for retard. So get involved. And as for the rest of you, have great lives. Click like, click subscribe. If you found this in any way useful, you'll get more tutorials, more gaming, more fun in the future. Peace and love. Goodbye. <laughs>